Hello guys, welcome to Nisha Society. I'm Nona Prince, and I'm joined by Ashmita and Varun. Hello. Hi. And we are here to talk about Brahmastra, an upcoming fantasy film from India. Now, for the foreign audience who don't know about it, it's based on Hindu mythology, and uh, you know the trailer just dropped. It has a lot of cool stuff in it, and we cannot wait for it. So the, we just want to talk about the, our thoughts on the trailers, and you can definitely check out Ashmita Chechi's uh, you know reaction to it on her channel for her initial thoughts. But today we're talking about more about you know what the social media is saying, all the criticisms about the. VFX and everything, but before that, quickly, uh, you know, overview thoughts on the trailer, Varun. I I like the trailer, the sort of romance angle. I mean, it's just a trailer, so you know, it's probably like uh, it will be better in the film. But that took me a bit out. But then I think all the visual stuff, all the action that's happening, that was all very interesting. And like, I mean, it definitely you know hyped me up for the movie. Like, yeah, it looks very different uh, from like anything. We have seen till now. Uh, the people behind it are like I feel like a bit hit and miss, but like I think it, I, I have you know high hopes for this film. I think that's what I would say. Okay. And the trailer, like the trailer, did its job for me. You know, I'm excited. I'm looking forward. Like I'll be watching the not first day, but like first weekend, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For me, I feel yeah, I enjoyed the trailer, and in like I feel the, this reaction that I put out yesterday was probably one of my really longest one because I did a second viewing and I kept pausing and did a breakdown also. So a couple of things which. Uh, Like I did not like were uh, when uh, Alia and Ranveer were having their dialogue, and because I felt that was a very pivotal moment, and just her shock, I couldn't feel that. It felt a little flat yeah. to me, like the dialogue delivery over there. Uh, maybe it's just because just you know suddenly that scene has been put out, and maybe in the context of the entire sequence, it will yeah. work. Mm, so we'll exactly. have to wait that after watching the film only. Uh, but overall, I. to my i am not like a vfx expert or anything but to my naked eyes and you know we have been exposed to so many superhero films or not i thought it was good and then mm. i did not feel like except that one shot where you see that fire thing uh, you know coming yeah. out and going inside yeah. ranveer's chest that looked a little bit off to me but other than that you know the avatar thing uh, with nandi bell and you know we see hanuman mm. and i i love that i really really love that so i am very very excited my only concern is that it shouldn't be like an overdose of vfx because i say this in my uh, you know breakdown also that i don't want it to have like an overdose of vfx that every other scene because the trailer every other shot has some visual effects so mm, yeah. you know you don't want that also because then it'll be like okay every scene has some visual effect they didn't have to put it just because they had the budget and stuff like that i don't want that where it is required to make the action scenes and stuff i would want that okay keep the vfx there only and of course we have the love story angle also i don't know how that's going to get integrated but it looks key to the plot it looks key to the plot Yeah. So let's see. I but I am looking forward to this film. I'm like Varun said, maybe not first day first show. I probably will watch first day, maybe not first show, maybe that evening show because I'll be watching it with my family. I would want to watch it with my family. I high hopes for this film. For me, uh, I think visual effects I just say and even like some things I also noticed that when we see in a movie, right? It flows naturally so we understand if it's working or not in a trailer it's right. very hard to judge that right. and uh, with the vfx also what i noticed was that they were vfx also in places where you wouldn't expect it to be right like when they're meeting right uh, mm. and when he tells her who are you and like uh, what are you kind of dialogue <laughs> even you can see yeah. behind it's it's obvious it's vfx right. and then i'm thinking okay maybe it's they wanted to shoot outdoors but because of covid they had to do this okay you know yeah. and okay. also the thing is that they kind of you know they're trying something different but they're trying to move Hold it in a fashionable way, which works with audiences. Oh, there's a love story, and then this guy gets to know there's something going on, and mm. then we get into the adventure. So that whole build yeah. up, I I wish it would have been different. But also, I just want to tell everyone, the audience who don't know about it, the film has been into the making from the concept to production and post production for ten years now. Yeah. I think in 2012 mm. they started, uh, and it the film was supposed to come out in 2018, in 2019, 2020. Covid happened, delayed, delayed, delayed forever. The and announcement it's very expensive. in 2014, I think. Yeah. The announcement happened. Yeah, I think that's why. Was in before that, it was coming. He's uh, he's doing a super uh, human movie or a vampire movie or something like that. It was coming right. out. Music. Mm. The director has only done two films till now. Yeah, you know he, he has a good director. Like a storytelling wise, is really good. I don't expect like the story not working at all. That's a very yeah. The least last thing I care about that it will go wrong in the movie. VFX, as you said, it feels. I, I feel the thing is, it's not natural. The VFX, right? We don't mm. see it. Around us, energy is forming. Yeah. You know, 
take any other film i think people were talking about you know other movies indian films that's because of the budget let's stick to indian films mm-hmm. even triple r you know kgf uh, even a uh, bahubali everything used mm-hmm. is there in reality to take reference from so you have a yeah, comparison yeah, oh course. in reality it looks like this in the movie it looks like that means a good vfx hmm. but here light energy doesn't exist that you see every day and you know that doesn't it look that mm-hmm. and that's on the right yeah. day it looks yeah. right <laughs> so you cannot really compare to anything it's like imagination how you want to create it and right, i feel yes, like when you watch right. the whole right. film if it's consistent throughout you like it yeah. uh, so you know that's yeah. my thought and uh, you know the film can be bad too there's no uh, you know uh, disagreement because, on that it can be because <laughs> that's what i also think that in this film because it's firstly relying so heavily on the vfx that has to be consistent throughout it cannot be great in one scene and you know yeah. it feels very artificial yeah. in the other then it won't work because it will be very easy for us to point out like for someone mm. like us also Uh, who doesn't know anything about VFX? I don't know. I don't know about you guys if you guys have any knowledge or not. Second is the story. That for me is the crux. If it mm. doesn't work, uh, then it just doesn't work for me. At the end of the day, you get a great cast, great, get, have great music, have great visuals, then if the story is not engaging. It won't work, and that's what makes me a little bit nervous in the in the sense that if it falls flat, then you have two more movies. after this it's like a trilogy so you yeah. won't be able to create any hype for the second one because the first one did not work so people will be like are nahi yaar because i feel for the first one even if people are you know there is this hate wagon going on uh, for this film but people will there is a sense of curiosity yeah, yeah exactly like, okay yaar first time pehli baar ho raha hai this happening let's see let's see how yeah. it is maybe they want to just bash it after watching it mm. they have that and they'll nitpick everything but they'll watch it because there is a sense of curiosity mm. amongst the movie lovers also and bollywood haters also that uh, but uh, the second one so the you know the hype for the second one rides very very much on this one working and i also yeah. feel right that at least they're trying something new i'm happy yeah. if it works it I'm doesn't work happy. at least they're trying something new you Correct. know mm-hmm. uh, you cannot c- because just you are trying something new doesn't make it's great but at least my yeah. ha- i'm happy that you at least tried you know it's not yeah. like you're trying to just formulate a, like whatever has worked in the past and make another you know uh, shitty Correct. product that's Correct. my only saving grace it doesn't matter how the film turns out to be i'll yeah. be happy of that yeah. and if it turns out to be great amazing i'll waiting for the part 2 and part 3 and we we'll we'll finally have yeah. you know a big uh world building uh, you know franchise which can oh, you know like ast- astra astravers astravers you know so it will yeah, be great to have that uh but guys those were our thoughts on brahmastra let us know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed do like share subscribe and we'll see you next time keep hanging out bye bye bye